So for today's video, it's going to be pretty simple. We're going to request some API keys for the tools that we need to use in our crew AI project. That's going to become our stock analysis expert or our stock analysis crew. Now, the reason why I'm going to go through this is again, the reason I'm making these videos, I'm making them in a way that they're very novice friendly, beginner friendly. If you have no experience working with crew AI or with anything that's programming or technology in this sense, I try to walk you through every step of the way just so that you can get past any frustrations or any of the obstacles that might not be natural to you if you haven't delved into this technology before. If you look at some of my previous playlists or videos that I've made, one of the things we do is we take you from scratch, even if you have nothing installed on your computer, we take you step by step to get this set up. Again, the main goal of this is that even if you don't have a very heavy technology background, you can still take advantage of these tools. You can still install them, learn how to use them and make the best of this AI technology. So we're gonna get started. So the main APIs that we need right now, we need one for Google search. We need one for stock history. We need one for browsing the internet. And we need one, the one we've already used from OpenAI to use ChatGPT. Now, maybe you keep hearing this word API Maybe that sounds a little bit fancy or a little bit technological. Maybe that feels a little bit overwhelming. Well, all an API key is, is it's just a password. This password that you request is unique only to you so that whenever you use the services from these companies, they know that it is you that's making these requests. At the end of the day, API keys are very important. You should always safeguard and you should never share them because that's what links your account to the requests that your application makes. So easy as that. So for a Google search, we're gonna go ahead and request the Serper API key. Now I'm gonna leave all the links in the description for the sites that you need in order to request these keys. So where we have this Serper API, you need to sign up. And like you can see here, they offer 2,500 credits for you to use. The reason why you do this is they want you to get some experience using their API, using their application services, so that if this becomes a very vital part to your business or to whatever project you're making, they can charge you for it, right? And that's the other thing why you don't want to share your API key. If you give that to someone else and they run up your credit card on it, that's going to be on you. We're going to go to sign up. And then again, we just fill this out real quick. So once you fill that out, it's going to ask you to verify via your email. That's pretty common. And once you click the verification link in your email, it's going to take you to this page. And if you go down to this part right here, API key, this, when you click this to make it visible, that's going to be your API key. That's going to be the super secret thing that you need to keep to yourself. Don't share this with anybody. Don't show it in any videos, don't put it in any Discord channels, just make sure you keep this safe. And just like that, we set up our API key for Serper. So now that we requested our Serper API key, we're gonna move on to get our browserless API key. So what this is gonna do is, it's gonna allow Crew AI to browse the internet whenever you run your crew. Now this is gonna be important because at the end of the day, we want to be able to not just get information from the data that your large language model was trained on. We want to get live current information. So that's why we need this browserless API. So we're just going to go to browserless IO. Same thing. All you can do is try free or get started. So on this one, you do get a free seven day trial, but after that's $200 a month. Now I don't want you to set that up just yet because we're still working through these videos to help you set everything else up in the project and I don't want you to run out of credits or run out of the trial before we started. But also just found out that for Cray AI tools, they actually already have a tool that you can use in order to scrape the web. All it's gonna require is for you to type the URL directly into the code. So we'll work through that as we build this project. And from what I can tell from this tool, you don't even need an API key, so that's even better. So that covers our tool for browsing the internet. And here we'll just put Cray AI tool. So last that leaves the SEC history stock API. So all this is going to do is basically it allows you to access historical data from the Securities and Exchange Commission. Since we're doing stock analysis, this is going to be pretty important. You can just click get free API key. You can sign up with Google. And after you finish signing up, they're pretty much going to blatantly just show off your API key right here in front of you. And this part that I'm going to block off And here, they just help you keep track of your usage. So these numbers is basically anytime you hit the API, as they call it, or anytime you use your API key, it's going to keep track of how many you have left over. Then of course they want you to upgrade again to pay for this service. The paid one ends up being $55 a month. So unless you really end up dedicating yourself to this, I don't think you're going to want to end up paying that. So all that leaves is your open AI API key. So the API key that you're going to use to connect crew AI to your large language model. Now, if you watched some of the previous tutorials, we already did that. And again, just to give you a little bit insight on how you can do it. 
If you are paying for ChatGPT for the subscription, you can request an API key. All you have to do is you go to platform.openai.com and you're taken to this page. And from here, you can request your API keys. As you can see here on the API keys page, if it's the first time you're doing it, you're gonna have to verify your account. And I just wanna remind you, for any API key that you're using, you do get charged per use if it's not a free trial. Now, this amount that I'm getting charged here, this is separate from the money that I'm paying for the ChatGPT subscription. So don't think that just because you have an API key and that you're paying for the subscription, that you have unlimited calls that you can make on it. OpenAI is pretty good about this, where before you can actually start using your API keys, you have to add a balance to it. So it's kind of like prepaying for what you're gonna use. That way you won't get overcharged without you noticing. So that pretty much covers all the tools or API keys that you're gonna need in order to run this stock analysis crew. I do hope you were able to find this helpful and I hope that this got you to get over that obstacle of going out of your way to request these API keys. And the reason why I made this tutorial again is because I understand sometimes some of this terminology, it can seem a little bit overwhelming. It can seem a little bit daunting to go ahead and tackle tests like these. So it's my goal to break these down into actionable pieces that you can do if you have a little bit of spare time during your day. And the other reason why I make these is because I know for me personally, before I ever got into the tech industry, there was a lot of times where I wish I had been able to find tutorials that pretty much held my hand to everything that I did. For a long time, I procrastinated starting in the tech industry because I just felt like everybody that did this was way smarter than me and they knew so much more and it was going to take me forever to get there. Now that I'm in it, I do feel like sometimes people that try to teach this content only make it for a target audience that is already technologically savvy. So if you're someone that's been thinking about getting into AI or getting into programming, it is my wish that you benefit from these videos the most because even though it will walk you through some things that maybe you've never done before, once you put it all together, you're gonna have very useful tools that you're gonna be able to use for your life, for your business, or for your hobbies. I just started a Discord and a Facebook group for those of you that wanna collaborate with others and ask questions to other people that are also interested in this. And if you would like someone on one time to ask me questions about technology or crew AI directly, I have a Calendly link where you can book an appointment with me completely free of charge. And that's basically gonna let you ask any questions that you have or any uncertainties that you may have about working with these projects or AI in general. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.